Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is Bath & Body Works related. Bath & Body Works did a new floor set today with their new Valentine's Day, early spring, and bake shop line. So you guys know I had to go and I usually do a shop with me when they do change the floor set. So semi-annual sale is out and the newness is in. Um, although my store still had a couple semi-annual sale items on the floor for 75% off. But I basically just want to show you guys what my store has that is new so I'm gonna do just a really quick uh, walk through in the store in the beginning so I can show you guys stuff that I per personally didn't buy like soaps and hand sanitizers wallflowers all of that and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my haul because I did buy quite a few things um, today's the last day for $10 off candles you can use this online or in store so I wanted to make sure I got this up ASAP but let's go ahead and get to shopping okay so walking inside this is how the big shop section looks it's so cute they literally have everything on these little stands so it looks like you're at a like a literal bakery they have like the description and everything it looks like a little cupcake stand so I wanted to share how everything is set up it looks so cute and this is definitely one of my favorite collections I have mostly strawberry pound cake this comes in a new whipped bath foam I wanted to share and it also comes in a moisturizing body wash but they did not have these items in the other scents in the line there's also a strawberry pound cake lip scrub, which I thought was cute, so I wanted to show that as well. And then also, this was a bath bomb. It was like a vanilla cupcake bath bomb, which was super adorable. Also, some new glosses, the coconut cream pie gloss, and also, of course, strawberry pound cake, because they have this in seriously everything. And also, they had a coconut cream pie hand cream. And then I'm just kind of doing an overview of the whole bake shop collection. So I kind of went over this already, so I won't go too in depth. I'm going to share, these are the only minis that come in this collection so far. Strawberry pound cake and coconut cream pie. Let's move over to this new line, which I believe is part of the aromatherapy. There's like earth, water, fire, and air. I'm not always the biggest fan of the aromatherapy stuff, so I didn't go too in depth over here, but I just wanted to do a little overview of what they had. There's pillow mist, body creams, um, I believe shower gels as well, but it does have really pretty packaging. My favorite was the Earth, but I didn't really love any, <laughs> but that one would be my favorite. And then they also have a new men's line called Clean Slate. So they have a whole collection of this. It has a description here of the notes. I like that they include that. And then the Love is back. They might always have this, but they have this really pretty body oil. I love the packaging on this one. So this is part of the aromatherapy. It's rose and vanilla. So they have the whole collection. And then we can move over to the mini area. So we have a new plumping lip gloss as well as a new fragrance free hand cream. If you guys don't like fragrance there's a few different ones there you can do the buy two get one free with this section also there's coconut uh, like a lip mask and this white tea and sage hand cream was new as well and then they also had this like giant hand cream it's like a really thick moisturizing one so I wanted to share that and then we have the new hibiscus paradise collection this one just came out recently. I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's very tropical, a little bit of coconut and floral, but they have pretty much everything in this line right up front. I'm not sure if this is limited edition or what. They also have some more uh, soap holders. So this one, it cracks me up because I think Tina Marie called it like Spongebob or something because it looks like Squidward's house. <laughs> but they have all these different soaps. I didn't go too in-depth because there's a ton. I really liked this one the best. I didn't buy any soaps because I'm seriously stocked up forever. <laughs> and they have these really pretty floral soap holders. And there's also a butterfly one as well. But there's so many new soaps out. Seriously, all these were new. But they also have this new gentle and clean line, which is free of any harsh chemicals and dyes. So definitely check these out. I know so many people say Bath Myers is so bad for you, but they have some actual good stuff. And I included a kind of close up so you can screenshot the ingredients there. There's some different scents in this line too. So that was exciting. All right, next we have these mini candles I wanted to share. I haven't shown any of these on my channel, so I figured I would show you that they do have quite a few. This is the Let Love Rule. All of these wallflowers, these are new. I love this pink shiny one. I thought that one was my favorite and some really cute ones. I like to show those. There's a new succulent candle holder, which is kind of cute. 
and then also this butterfly candle holder. I'm very much into the candle accessories if you guys can't tell. And then they also had this candle holder which I like just for a very minimalistic. And then also this balloon heart candle holder which was probably my personal favorite and I thought the price was good on this. And I'll, here's more of the Spongebob <laughs> stuff. They have candle holders too. There's a green and a pink one. And then they had these wallflower plugs as well which I thought were really pretty. And I had to show you guys this cute uh, makeup bag. They have a unicorn one, but this one is my favorite. This pink iridescent one. It seriously holds so much stuff. So I thought that one was a really good deal for $13. And then also this uh, hand sanitizer holder. This thing is humongous. I thought that was a bit weird, but I wanted to share. Okay guys, I do want to share with you what I picked up um, for candles and also a few more body care items. You guys know I already kind of reviewed the new Bake Shop collection. I bought three of the lotions and I have that video already up so I'll link that down below if you want to know like an in-depth of my thoughts but I did buy some things today as well so let's get into the haul. I'll start with the body care that I picked up. So they were doing um, the mini sale which is I think buy two get one free so I decided to get a couple mini items and I noticed they had the coconut cream pie and a mini spray and a mini lotion I don't know if the other scents are coming in minis as well they don't always do minis in every single scent they come out with but I do like mini sprays just because I don't go through the full-size spray it takes me so long so I try to collect these instead so this one is the coconut cream pie I do really love this scent from them. As I've mentioned, it kind of reminds me of Christmas cookies, that scent, but actually the spray, it smells a lot sweeter. It's super, super sugary, yummy cookies. I really enjoy this. I don't get a whole lot of coconut with this one, but it's definitely one of my favorites in the collection. I'm also going to be buying the full-size shower gel. I might pick up the body cream as well in this. I don't know. I can't decide. I bought the lotions, but I am kind of a body cream girl. I just like how thick and moisturizing it is, so we'll see, but loving the spray. I also wanted to get just a mini size of the new Hibiscus Paradise just to have um, for review purposes and stuff like that. This is also one of their new scents for early spring. I saw already they're doing even more sneak peeks for some more spring scents that are coming soon, more like tropical ones, but they usually start off with the sweet shop collection and they do like a tropical collection. So this is the new Hibiscus Paradise this one it's not my favorite because it's kind of coconutty <laughs> like you would think the coconut cream pie would be coconutty but this is just more sweet bakery while this one is more like a tropical coconut scent to me it's really not my favorite I get a little bit of a floral note in there as well so it's okay but I just I didn't really want it in the full size so I just got a mini of that one and then also their lip products count for the buy to get one free so I picked up their coconut nourishing lip mask which I'm excited to try out it was in between this and the plumping lip gloss but I decided to go for this one instead I don't get a really strong coconut scent with this at all but this is kind of what it looks like in the tube so I'm excited to try that and see how this is if it's any good I do love me a good lip mask and then I did do uh, they had buy three get three going on but I went ahead and did the buy two get one free because I'm actually going to order the rest of the stuff I've been wanting online because I have some free item coupons which you can use if you guys have the rewards which I've kind of talked about that before signing up for the rewards app. You can redeem those coupons online. So I just picked up a few things that they didn't have online yet including this new strawberry pound cake whipped bath foam. This intrigued me a bit just to see kind of what it does. It's just the usual strawberry pound cake scent. Some people say this year smells different to me I'm not very picky with scents in like describing them so to me it just smells like regular strawberry pound cake but it's a whipped bath foam which says fill your bath with a fluffy and fun layer of creamy foam that leaves skin with an irresistible fragrance so I'm gonna try this out because it's new and I'm curious about it um, I also picked up the chocolate covered cherry stuff which they didn't have these online yet I'm trying to like the scent, you guys. You're probably like, why did you buy that? I thought you didn't like that scent, which I don't love it on me, at least in the lotion, but I'm trying to use it more and see if it's different in the different forms. I'm going to go ahead and order the mist online, but I don't know. It's kind of growing on me a little bit in the lotion, but there really is something about it once it hits your skin. It has this weird perfumed, like, baby wipe, makeup wipe scented thing that, like, comes out, and I don't like that. But it does do that with the body cream and in the shower gel. I can smell it right away. 
I don't know, it's so weird. Everyone has so many mixed opinions on this. I'm trying to make this work for me because it smells so good in the bottle. And I wanna, you know, try it out a bit more, maybe layering it up and see what I can do with it. But I just, it wasn't my favorite from the collection. I definitely prefer the um, coconut cream pie and also the raspberry jam donut, which you notice I didn't buy any of in this haul because I'm actually ordering all of that online and buying the full collection. I still think it is similar, not the same as a blueberry shortbread or whatever. Um, there's definitely similarities to it. So that is the body care that I picked up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and share with you the candles. I wanted to make sure I got this video up today because I think today's the last day for the $10 off candle sale and you can get these candles online right now. So you guys know I did like a whole kind of review already of most of the candles that are out right now for spring. Again, that video is linked down below, but I did pick up some backups. Let me start off with this candle holder I bought. You guys know I'm kind of obsessed with the Bath and Body Works candle holder. Holders, and this one is stunning. It has some fingerprints on it though, which is kind of annoying. I have to wipe that off, but it's kind of like a balloon heart little candle holder and it's gold and you put the candle on top. I actually thought this one wasn't a bad price at all. It's $18.95. Usually their crazy candle holders are, they can go up to like 50 bucks, which is crazy. So I'm happy with this one. I got the last one in the store. I feel like they only have one or two of them. They might be getting more in. But yeah, I did want to grab that because I always collect the different candle holders that they have going on and that one was super cute for Valentine's Day. And then for candles, let's start with my newest one. I'm so excited my store has had this out. The Pineapple Pancakes. This is brand new. I didn't have it in my last video. The notes on this one are fresh pineapple, fluffy pancakes, sweet banana slices, and brown sugar. This is really good. You guys know I love a good bakery scent. This one does smell very new to me. I do get kind of a pancake note going on with some like maybe a little bit of maple. I'm not a big fan of maple syrup type of scent, so it's not bad at all. And I do get a little bit of that pineapple note. Um, it's not the same as like pineapple crumb cake or anything like that. Those are different, but I really do like this one and I can't wait to burn it. I think it's definitely a winner from the collection. So you should be able to get this in stores and it should be online as well. Another new one I finally got is the Pink Lilac and Vanilla. This has the gorgeous packaging again. I was kind of unsure about this one at first, but I decided I'm gonna go ahead and get it. I'm not the biggest floral person, if you guys can't tell, but this one has notes of fresh lilac bouquets, dewy greens, and vanilla blossom. This one's very powdery. Like, I get a straight-up powder note with this. Sometimes I'm in the mood for something a little bit different, uh, more floral. So I feel like I'm going to try and burn this and see how it is. And hopefully it doesn't make me feel nauseous or anything like that. But just straight up a big powdery note. Maybe a little bit of sweetness with the vanilla. But that's what I get from that one. And another floral one, this one is newer. I believe I, ha I haven't seen this one before. I believe they have this in body care now online too, which I'm very curious about. So this is the Southern Magnolia. Now, I don't mind Magnolia scents. I feel like Magnolia and Poppy, those are pretty good floral ones for me. Um, this has notes of white gardenia, fresh magnolia blooms, and lemon verbena. I don't mind this one. I think it smells pretty good. It's a very light floral, not a strong scent, so I'm definitely going to be burning this one. Another newer one that I haven't hauled yet, this is the Be Mine Candy Hearts. I had to get this, of course, for the packaging for Valentine's Day. Super cute. But this one, I believe, is just a repackage of the Pink Sugar Plum. Is it Pink Sugar Plum or something Gumdrop? I don't remember. Something like that, but this is just a very sweet tarts, smarties, tangy type of candy scent to me. It's very sweet. It has notes of cotton candy sugar, sparkling raspberries, and a sprinkle of love from Cupid. But yeah, it's a repackage of the Pink Fairy Gumdrop, I think it's called. And it smells good, but very much like a sweet tart type of candy. But I just wanted to have it. I don't even think I have one in my collection. I also got the banana bunt cake. So actually I did buy two from this collection. So this one is a repeat scent. But I don't think I've ever had this. Which is very weird for me. Because I always buy all the banana scents. But I know it came out a couple times before. The notes are sweet banana, toasted walnut, and fresh cinnamon. And yeah, it totally reminds me of like banana bread with a little bit of that cinnamon spicy note, but I, you do get like a fresh banana type scent, like a ripe, like it smells like legit 
banana it's not like a banana candy or a fake banana it's like real bananas <laughs> but it's so good so I had to get that you guys know my obsession with banana things there's also a banana cabana candle online which I'm debating picking up and then the rest of these are duplicates so I just decided to get one backup of each of my favorites so I did eventually burn the pink watermelon finally I know I said I didn't burn this one last time but I did a few days ago and man oh man this is so good it might be my favorite thing that has come out this uh, in this collection for spring. Oh my gosh. This is straight up watermelon candy, watermelon Jolly Rancher, but it's not like super tart like that. It's very sweet. I love it. But I think other people have said like watermelon Laffy Taffy. It is incredible and the throw on this is crazy strong. People could smell it from a mile away. It's so amazing. So I would definitely recommend the pink watermelon. So I got a backup of this. You guys already know. I featured that one in my last haul. I also got a backup of the Wildberry Jam Donut, another winner. I'm gonna have to get more of these eventually, but I didn't wanna like go too crazy this time around. Um, maybe they'll do an even cheaper candle sale soon, but yeah, this one is so good too. It really does smell like a powdered donut with the raspberry filling. Oh, it's amazing super strong throw plus you get the beautiful packaging on this one the notes are sweet wildberry jam powdered donut and brown sugar crumble we also got a backup of the coconut cream pie this one does smell a little bit different to me in the candle than in the body care but this is another winner of the collection it's amazing there's not a lot of coconut in this it's a very light very bakery coconut it smells so good the very strong throw on this one but it's just super super sweet I just love it so this one has notes of toasted coconut flakes caramel custard and golden pie crust would definitely recommend picking that one up and then I do have one more candle I forgot to show you guys this is a new one for me it's called sugared lemonade um, I was in between this one or the sunny lime that they came out with I wasn't a huge fan of the lime so I did go with this one and this is a really good just very fresh scent it's a very tart lemon a little bit like kitchen lemon if you guys know that one but it has a little bit of sweetness to it with the sugar, but I think this is going to be a nice one to have. I don't really have any lemon candles, so this one has notes of fresh lemon juice, sugar crystals, and crushed ice. So the, again, the crushed ice note just cracks me up. But yeah, I got that one as well. And then there is some newer ones I saw being sneak peek. There's like a lemon cake pop or something. I believe coming out that's supposed to smell like London Teen Biscuits from last year. I think there's a couple other ones, but I can't remember all the names there's definitely always some new things coming out and I always try to keep you guys updated with all the new and my reviews and stuff like that so that is gonna be it for this Bath and Body Works video hope you guys enjoyed it um definitely placing my online order today as well with a few things but yeah I'll probably have another haul soon I'm always at Bath and Body Works so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys